Chris Godinas, licensed professional counselor, also the host of We Need to Talk on every Sunday at noon, and then I post these videos up to Facebook and Patreon and all sorts of places. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. The views and opinions stated herein are mine and mine alone. They do not represent the ACA, the APA, or any other therapist for that matter. Boom, shakalaka done. I'd like to thank my sponsor, BetterHelp. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P, BetterHelp dot com slash Chris Godinas. They're an online therapy company. They are international. They have 40,000 therapists working for them. They are awesome. I've gotten great feedback from people using them. They're very helpful. So go to betterhelp.com slash Chris Godinas and fill out the form. Get with a licensed professional uh, master's level or PhD level therapist either in your state or that can do international. Thank you, BetterHelp dot com slash Chris Godinas. Okay, so let's dive into the question. Where did I put it? That would help if I put it up. There we go. Um, why do narcissists enforce their own boundaries on others, but do not respect the boundaries of others? Well, that's the definition of a narcissist. <laughs> so narcissistic personality disorder. When somebody is narcissistic, when somebody has narcissistic personality disorder, it literally is me, 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 I, 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 more my genitals. That's it. That's what they care about. They don't literally care about anybody else. So for them, enforcing one of their boundaries is a power and control thing. They view everything as a competition. It's I must win and everyone else must lose. That is literally how they think. So for them, it's like my wants, my needs. What about my wants? What about my needs? What about me? You know, that kind of thing. And so they'll enforce their boundaries and push on other people. And you can't do this and you can't do that. And this has to be done my way, my way or the highway, blah, blah, blah. But if somebody goes, stop and I mean it. And I do not want you talking to me that way. They will come unglued and they'll mow over that boundary in order to show dominance. That's what they do because to them, it's a win-lose proposition. They have to win, everyone else has to lose. That's just how they think. And, and it's very much a, I'm in power, I'm in control, I get to dictate the terms, I get to, you know, me, 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 I, 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 more. You know what I'm saying? So they, they, don't respect anybody else. They don't, they don't even really respect themselves. They think they do, but they don't. Um, and so the pushing their, their boundary, they call them boundaries, but really it's, I'm going to show you who's in charge is really what it is. And then when somebody else <clears throat> healthfully says, stop and I mean it, I, I'm not interested. I'm not going to play this game. They come unglued because they view it as a narcissistic injury. So it's an ego injury. It hurts their little ego is what it is. So when somebody has a boundary, they view that as a challenge and they're going to mow over it and show you, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll fix your wagon. I'll show you who's in charge, you know, that kind of thing. So that's why they don't respect boundaries because they, they really truly believe that the rules do not apply to them. So if you're dealing with a dark triad, you're dealing with somebody who's antisocial, narcissistic, Machiavellian, control freak. So antisocial is psychopath, essentially. And the rules do not apply. How dare you say that the rules apply to me? I'm special. The rules shouldn't apply to me. I'm special. No, you, you're not. I mean, yes, in that, well, wow, you're a narcissist, but... <laughs> not in a good way. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so they get very much that their way or the highway. When I say jump, you better ask how high. Um, I'll show you who's boss. I'll show you who's in charge. You know, that kind of thing. And so when anyone challenges that by having a healthy boundary, they view that as a power struggle and they will mow over those boundaries or they will have a screaming fit. That's what I've seen a lot of them do when boundaries are put in place. Or if they're the covert ones, they'll break into a million tears. How could you do this to me? You don't love me. How dare you do this to me? You know, that kind of thing. So it's, it's, it's a power struggle for them. So it's okay for them 
to dictate how things go, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it's not okay for anybody else to have boundaries because they view that as a threat. So they, they don't like boundaries because it means they don't have complete control over the person. So remember, when you are dealing with a true narcissist, when you are dealing with a true dark triad, it is only about power and control. So they have to be in control of your every thought, your every action, your every everything. You don't get boundaries with a narcissist. And, and it becomes normalized in dysfunctional families because boundaries are mowed, mowed over all the time so that when we get into an abusive relationship, we don't necessarily always recognize that mowing over boundaries is a huge red flag. It's it's not okay. It's like if somebody says stop and I mean it, you need to stop and listen to them and respect them, you know? Narcissists don't. They don't respect anybody else. They view other people and I cannot push this enough. They view other people as an object. We are nothing more than something to be used. Now, if I had a pen near me, I would pull up the pen and say we have no more meaning to them than this pen. Once the ink is gone, we get tossed and that's what they do to us. We are simply there to stroke their ego. There is no relationship there really because relationships are not a one-way street. They're a two-way street. But with a narcissist, it's a one-way street. It's their way or the highway, my way, my power, my control, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You don't have a say. I get to say how this goes down. I get to dictate how this happens. It's all about power and control. It is not about boundaries. It feels like it's about boundaries, but it's not. It's about who's in charge. And for the narcissist, they can be the only one in charge. Nobody else can have boundaries. They can have boundaries. Nobody else can have boundaries. You know, it's, it's kind of like what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So, but for them, it's like what's good for the goose is good for the goose and nobody else gets to have it either. That's literally the way they think. It's like they're special, they're fantastic, they're this, they're that, and um, they're above the law. They don't have to suffer the consequences of their actions, et cetera, et cetera. So they feel that they can, and they often do, treat people like objects, and they do. And we really, we have no meaning to them. They don't consider our emotional life. They don't consider our feelings because they don't understand feelings. They don't understand any feelings. They don't understand their own and especially other people's. They don't get it. They cannot make that leap of going, oh, how must that feel? There's no empathy. There's no empathy card in there. It takes empathy to respect people. It does because you have to put yourself in their shoes. You have to go, mm, what must that be like, right? They can't do that. They don't do that. They don't like doing that, it makes them feel vulnerable. And they like to have this fantasy land that they're invulnerable. So being vulnerable is a narcissistic injury. It is an ego injury to them. That is another reason why they do not respect boundaries. They view empathy as a weakness. Empathy is a power. To be able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and have empathy for them and be able to draw good boundaries. That's powerful. But narcissists don't understand that. They view kindness, they view boundaries, they view empathy all as weaknesses. So that's why they don't respect boundaries. That's why they mow over them. That's why they say and do the things that they do. And remember, they view us as nothing more than objects to be used and if it involves emotions they want nothing to do with it so if you're in a relationship with somebody who mows over your boundaries doesn't respect you it's a power and control struggle all the time they're lying cheating manipulating get the hell out just get the hell out don't don't stick around love is not enough guys i cannot even begin to tell you that it's like so many clients and it's so heartbreaking because they're like but 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 i love them okay yes i understand you love them and because it's an and world you cannot heal them with your love i know love is powerful it is but 
they don't experience it the way you do. They don't. They don't get love. They don't get emotion. They don't get empathy. They don't understand being selfless. Really, they don't. They don't understand people who act selflessly and help others or put themselves in danger to help others. They don't get it. They just don't get it. So that's why they don't respect boundaries. So if somebody doesn't respect your boundary, don't, you know, listen to them, believe them the first time, <laughs> believe them the first time and get out. All right, my loves, on Sunday, we are going to talk about good decision making. So we're going to, you know, let go of the perfectionism and we're going to talk about making good decisions because you're going to need to when you go to divorce these jack wagons. So you need to be able to make cool, calm, clear, logical decisions, especially when you're dealing with the court. So we're going to talk about all of that. All right, my loves, I will talk to you on Sunday. Have a great week. Bye.